There's never going to be another Dick Vitale. He's ramming, he's jamming, and he's slamming. He has done as much for college basketball as anybody. Awesome baby with a cap of the line. Working with Dick is full contact. You set the dial to 11 at all times. Dick Vitale landed his first and only college head coaching job at the University of Detroit. His Titans clicked off a 21-game winning streak in the 1976-77 season. Vital then coached the NBA's Detroit Pistons for a year and 12 games. Let go in November of 1979, he received a call from respected TV executive Scotty Connell, vice president of a sports TV network, ESPN, that had launched two months earlier and was in need of a basketball analyst. And a guy says to me, you don't remember me, but I got a chance to meet you when I was producing a game for NBC and I wrote your name down. And I said that if this guy's available, I'm gonna give him a shot in TV. Well, it should be a classic matchup. College basketball, excitement, enthusiasm. Back then, I mean, he was just unbridled enthusiasm. I say this with affection, like an untrained cult. You were trying to get him into the gate, teach him what broadcasting was, because what he had to offer beyond that was just infectious. He's a PTP tonight, baby. Over four decades at ESPN, Dick Vitale captured our attention with a combination of style and substance that's very rare. He lets it fly! When I produced Dick, one of the things I would really do every telecast is, Dick, but what do we want to teach tonight? What does this Indiana team do that other teams don't? He is such a student of the game. He's such a teacher of the game. I went back and did a, did a ton of research, including watching old games. When you really sat and listened to the way Vital broke a game down, uh, it was, I mean, the substance was awesome. It was iconic. I know I can make this shot. Dickie V's gone on to become as much as any coach or player synonymous, not just with college basketball on ESPN, but the very face of the sport itself. Geico is awesome, baby! Oh! This is what I can't believe it! And Dickie V brings that same energy to raising money to cure cancer. One of his great friends was Jimmy Valvano, and he has done everything he can to keep that foundation and that fight for cancer going. Whether he's talking to young basketball players or whether he's talking to people about giving money to, to the V Foundation and fight for cancer, he's an amazing, amazing speaker. Nobody should have to suffer. We are not going away, man. We are gonna battle and battle and battle. The day we cure cancer, Dick Vitale deserves a standing ovation. He has been relentless in raising money for research and to keep Jim Valvano's message alive. Ladies and gentlemen, the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences now presents its Lifetime Achievement Award. I cannot believe my name. My name is going to appear on a list. With, I'm in awe. Oh my God, Vin Scully. Keith Jackson, who I worked with, Jim Simpson, who I loved dearly. Because I cannot believe when I started this gig that it was lead to anything like this. You're still making people smile. You still have the same energy. Your heart is even larger than it was when you first got into this business and all of us first got to know you. You're more genuine than you've ever been, and you're just as loud. It is our honor to dedicate this new Dick Vitale Court in Callahan Hall for all you have done, congratulations. He's one of a kind. There'll never be anybody like Dick. People want to hear him uh, and his knowledge and love and passion for the game and for the kids who are playing the game. Dick Vitale receives the game's highest honor. Passion plus work ethic plus good decision making in your personal life equals W, win in a game of life.